Now, before we get started, you want to be using the newest version of Reaper as some of the options or the way it looks may have changed. In this situation, it's Reaper 7.18 or newer. So a project set up here, and by default, it's going to look like this with our tracks or a track control panel over here and our mixer down over here. And over here is our master track. And all these tracks flow into it, creating a master output when we render our file. So all these tracks are flowing into this one. Now we could also see the master in the track control panel. Go up here to the view menu and choose master track. Then we see it up here as well. Again, all these tracks are flowing into this track as the master for this project. But there's a few other ways we could see our master track. If we go back to the view menu, we could choose the floating mixer master. And that floats that master track that was over here, over here. So now we could put it anywhere we want. And if you have a second monitor, you could put it on that one if you want. And if we hide it by choosing this again, it goes back down here. And we could put this in other places. We could right click, go to master track, and show it on the right side of the mixer. And then it shows up over here. Or we could once again show it in a separate window. Or one of my favorite ways is to show it in the Docker. And that puts it down here, but it's not replacing our mixer. They're on separate tabs, as you can see down here. Here's our mixer, and here's the mixer master. So they're separated on different tabs. And we could put these tabs in different places on our monitor. We could grab it and drop it over here. Now it's floating again. We could also put it on the right side at the bottom over here, just by dropping it. See the bottom right turns gray, letting us know if we drop it, it's gonna be placed over here. This tab and this tab are in different places. And we can adjust how much each side takes up right over here with a divider. So you can move it over here, over here, wherever we want. And if we added more tracks, they could be hidden and shown within it. We could also place this in other areas on our screen. Let's grab it again and drag it to the top. Notice it turns gray on the top. Let go. Now it shows up up here. But we could also put it on the left side. Now it shows up over here. So at all times, we could work on our project. And now we see our master on the left side of our screen. Or we could put it on the right side. Grab the tab again, drag it to the right side till it turns gray. Let go. Now it's on the right side of our screen. So again, we can work on our project. And now we see our master level or our master track over here. Even if we hide our mixer, go to view, hide the mixer. Now we still see our master track over here at all times while working on our project. And we can still adjust how the master track looks beyond just dragging it there. We can go up here to the view menu and choose screen sets or layouts, which opens up this dialog. We'll go to the layouts tab. And right over here, we have the master mixer panel. I have it set to 150% for the size. We can make it smaller at 100%. And the elements and the track look smaller over here. We'll make it bigger at 200%. Now they're really big or any size you want. I'm going to use 150%, which looks like this. And we could also adjust it in the theme adjuster. Go to the actions menu, show action list, type in theme in the filter, and we'll go to the default seven theme adjuster, which looks like this. Then we'll go to the mixer controls and scroll down to the bottom. Here we could adjust our master mixer, which again is this over here. We can change the background color from the default to this gray, lighter gray, or darker. We even give it a custom color. If you want it to be yellow, we can get this instead, and it looks like this. We'll put it back to the default. And we could also adjust the panel width over here. We can make it nice and wide, so the meter is really big. We'll make it skinnier, or super skinny. 
put it back to the default and make it a bit bigger, maybe something like this. And choose the size or how wide it is. Or we could choose to show the values, labels, or the meter values. Turn these on or off to decide what we see in here. So again, we could decide exactly what this looks like and where it's placed on each side of our screen. In addition, we could also adjust how the meter looks. Just right click in here. It defaults to showing peak and loudness in here, or you could switch it to peak only, and we just see the peak meter, or just see the loudness meter, and also change the readout. It defaults to be in peak up here, we can change the readout to be loudness instead. And now we see our loudness up here. Put it back to the default. We can also adjust all the loudness settings in here. So as you can see, there's a lot we could do with this meter and all the different places we could put it. On the left side of a mixer, on the right side of the mixer, floating in a separate window, in a separate tab from the mixer down here, on the left side of our screen, and on the right side of our screen. And again, it will always show us the master level from all our tracks being sent to it. So that's pretty much it. That's the floating mixing master in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.